If there's anything in here that wants to communicate with me, or if that apparition... What is up fam? Welcome to another haunted adventure. My name is Omar. Today I got a very special video planned for you. I have a couple of friends that are joining me today. They're not with me. They kind of went off on their own to do their own thing. I have James aka The Fam and I have I'm J Station. Links will be in the description to their videos. I encourage you to check them out. Show them some love. Now today we came to an abandoned warehouse factory but this isn't any ordinary factory or warehouse. It's actually haunted. Years ago gangsters took it over. A lot of illegal activity was happening here soon after gangsters took over this place there was a gunfight where 12 people died and about 34 were injured it was a very very bloody day here at this warehouse we're gonna go check this place out tons of paranormal researchers have been here but today we're going in with just our cameras I hope you're ready for this adventure smash the like button if you haven't already let's do this Alright fam, before I get into this video, I want to share this opportunity for you to win $5,000 cash playing an online trivia game called Swag IQ. Now Swag IQ is powered by Swagbucks.com. You may or may not have heard of them. They've given away $250 million in cash and gift cards to their members. Now what makes Swag IQ's app so much better than the other online trivia games is the fact that it's legit, it's real. You only have 10 questions to answer, so your odds of winning are way higher. If you miss a question, you could rejoin. If you get a eliminated from the game you can still keep playing for swag buck points now the five thousand dollar grand prize swag iq game starts tomorrow which is april 1st and i know that's you know april fool's day but this is not a joke this is real and it's real money real five thousand dollars available to the united states and canada make sure you're there 8 p.m eastern standard time 5 p.m pacific time download swag iq using my referral link i want to see you guys in the chat spam in the comments saying that you are there you can invite your friends to play too if you want always see some of you complaining that you ain't got no money to come visit me here in florida or get some of my merch well now's your chance go play win some money and thank me later don't forget to download after watching this video link will be in the description remember if one of us wins we all win best of luck to you i hope to see you there in the comments now back to the video so we got a little bit of free light coming from another factory across the street now this place is really massive oh gosh it's scary in there would you go in there by yourself now this is where that massive gunfight happened i'm not sure if we're gonna see blood on the ground i'll be looking for it i hope james is with jay because i hear that there's like random holes in the ground that you could fall into so hopefully those two are together um i got my mask if you're wondering kind of limited on light today i heard there's a basement here with tunnels i'm trying to find that without falling into a hole i'm telling you there's holes everywhere got to be really careful coming to abandoned places especially at nighttime james has almost died a few times falling into holes i've almost fallen into holes myself so watch where you step wear good shoes too i think i found the basement not sure if there's tunnels we're gonna find out Looks like people have been partying down here. Hey James, you down here? I'm not sure if this is where that tunnel starts. If I keep going down, I would prefer to go with my homies because I'm using my phone light right now. I accidentally left my actual camera light that gives me a little bit more light. So I got both hands kind of working here, holding the camera and then got this. 
So, yeah, good to have friends with you when you go explore. Whoa. That's a really old looking fan right there. Yo, is that duct tape? Wonder if they used to tie people up down here. You know, gangster style where they used the duct tape and duct tape your wrist to a chair and your mouth. Then they ripped the tape off your mouth and they're like, start talking boy, where's the money? Where's the money? Uh, going back up. Oh, I see light up ahead. Pretty sure the guys are up ahead. Here's one of those holes I was talking about. Makes you imagine that, just, you know, hey! This one isn't as deep, but there's another hole there. And, huh, this one's very deep. Yeah, it's kind of dark in here, but it's like a huge warehouse right here, but there's tons of buildings over here that we're gonna go explore. Used to be a massive door right here that they would let people in. Not sure what kind of operation they had going on. More than likely drugs. Hey yo! What are you guys doing? Coming back to see you. Cool. Glad I found you. Alright, met up with the boys. There's I'm um, J Station. Hey. And there's James. Oh, James. So, remember how I was telling you that I only have my phone light right now to use? Well, luckily, James brought a spare light and he's gonna share it. He usually brings two lights because his one light usually kind of dies. If you enjoyed this video, I mean, you know, you're gonna eventually watch the whole thing. Make sure to show his channel and, of course, J Station's channel some love because. Yeah, he didn't have to give me his light, and that probably made this video way more enjoyable for you. Now we could actually show you what this warehouse looks like. This <laughs> light is kind of puny. Thanks, dude. Yeah, I got you, man. Very thoughtful of you. It's your birthday, man. What else? Thanks. Got you. All right, now we can see what this place looks like. Yeah, my phone light was not cutting it. So this is the actual warehouse part, but this is not what we're going to be exploring. We're actually going to be exploring more of the hangouts where the gangsters would hang out and probably even interrogate people looks like there's eyes behind me see that to your left my right right where my hand is see there's eyes there see it yeah oh disappeared oh that's freaky all right well, i'm no expert in factories but to me this looks like a shower and maybe like a eye washing station maybe this was some kind of chemical factory warehouse at one point whoa what the heck do not enter don't open dead inside i have another video james and i did and uh mo of course and we went into this abandoned hospital and we've seen this too and it was really weird because the doors ended up opening by themselves when we were kind of like scoping out that you know it said don't open dead inside now if you don't know what that means it's a reference to the walking dead which is one of my favorite shows and they would do that because zombies would be hiding inside now i'm not sure if zombies are in there but i think we should have a look Pretty sure I heard like some noises coming from over here. But we split up. I was doing a live stream for a little bit. If you were at that live stream on my vlog channel, thank you so much. It is my birthday today. I mean, when this video comes out on Oh My Gosh TV, of course it's not gonna be my birthday anymore because I have to edit this. And I usually release these videos like a few weeks ahead because we kind of stock up on several videos. But yeah, if you were at that live stream, thank you so much. Appreciate all the birthday love. Yeah, I stepped in here right now. I was kind of sitting in the corner over there resting and my back was hurting a little bit. And I start hearing noises in front of me. And I come out here and the noises stopped. Uh, I was showing this on my live stream. There's some really cool graffiti. Very talented individual. 
spray painted that right there and that is true right there if you take that o away it'll say fam back to the whole live your life thing you know there's a lot of folks out there that aren't doing that you know what i mean they're having other people live their life for them like you're living life pleasing others and you know what let's go hello start living a little bit more live your life or like my friend Mosardi says live a little now I'm gonna live a little and check inside here this could have been where some of the gangsters would do private meetings private drug deals things like that it's not a very big room oh someone had fun breaking this glass here well look at all those spoons well no, those are sporks, fork and a spoon. Pretty cool idea, definitely underrated. Whoa, what is this? Almost looks like a messed up Mickey Mouse head. Oh. Oh! What the hell was that? Hello? Somebody out there? Hello? Alright, I'm officially scared now. Felt like the building was going to collapse on me right now. Not sure what that noise was. It's really no wind out here. I need to try to link back up with the fellas, getting a little worried about them, hoping that they're okay. Uh, I'm glad that James, though, is hopefully safe. Hopefully he's with Jay. I'm pretty sure Jay's taking good care of him. So, yeah, don't want him falling in one of those holes. I know James, though, he does like to wander off. Even when I tell him not to wander off, he still wanders off. So there is a chance that he's wandering off. All right, I'm going to go up in there. A little bit ago... I was trying to figure out what this room, there's like a room up there. I don't know if you could see it. It's like a observation area or whatever. And I'm thinking this is the way. Make sure this is like legit. All right. You up here, James? Whoa, look at all that coal so this was a coal factory at one point i'm thinking all right so that doesn't go to that observation deck but there's something over here this is really rusty flooring trust this floor it's like really sketchy oh. Oh. hello sounds like somebody's in here this sounds like somebody's walking up here that was weird here like all by myself oh, got really cold out by the way wonder what this thing does okay this is probably where the coal would come up or down by the looks of it down a spray paint can there
believe that that was that just fell randomly hearing them damn footsteps again there's somebody here or something that wants to communicate with me all right i'm no paranormal investigator if you notice i usually don't have any gadgets or anything i just have my camera you know if a place is haunted it's haunted if a spirit wants to communicate with you you don't need anything fancy for it to communicate with you just ask it for it to communicate with you now we kind of came in here asking and i mean as you can see so far i heard footsteps up there i mean i didn't ask for the board to, to do that but i mean this place is haunted and there's your proof right there i almost think like spirits want to communicate with you like if they know that you're seeking the paranormal and you don't have any gadgets you might see a little bit more so all you paranormal investigators out there leave your gadgets at home go to these haunted locations just sit in the dark ask spirits to communicate with you they will i need to find these guys though make sure james is all right i'm really worried about him i almost want to make sure he didn't fall in one of those holes but i was already over there and i didn't see him come over here remember this room that we were going to go in earlier well we're going to go in now i've not been in here yet hopefully there's no dead inside dude this place is so big oh what the heck Whoa. Dude, what the heck is this place? Yo, this is so cool in here. So many machines and not gonna lie. I feel like a zombie's gonna run out of here, like around the corner and start chasing me. Really hope not. I ain't trying to find a hole either. Oh, there's like stuff left behind here. From the factory days this does really look like something that like if i was a gangster i'd be chilling up in here every day i mean this is gangster right here i don't trust this stuff What is this? Wow, what a mess. Hello? I was talking to a paranormal investigator that told me about this room. Forgot to mention it earlier. And he captured a figure. I'm not sure if it was here or on the other side. I saw the picture myself. It was by one of these machines here. I don't know. I might have to come back in, he in here and ask some questions. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you seen anything while I was in here. But I figured I'll ask. If there's anything in here that wants to communicate with me, or if that apparition... Oh, what was that? Oh my gosh. Thank you for letting me know that you're in here. I'm not scared of you, but I do respect you. But I'm gonna I'm gonna leave you alone, okay? Yo, I think I had an EVP. Oh, I don't trust this. I think this door opened a little bit. I'm not sure. I almost feel like I should close it. Oh, hey, what's up? Sorry, I was just trying to... I mean, this says closed, so I might as well close it. Dude, same here, dude. Really? 
Yeah, I think I caught a real clear EVP in there. And I've seen chains moving. Chains? Chains. Wow. Dude, you guys should go in there. Spend a little time in there. Yeah? What is it? What's Dude, I, I like seeing like there's like some chains hanging up from the ceiling and it started moving. All right, fam, I'm going to start concluding this video. Thank you so much. If you stuck till the end, you know that I love you. I didn't get to introduce these guys earlier. So here they are right there. We got um, J Station and we got James the fam. We're going to come back here and do a ritual known as the Devil's Hide and Seek. I'm actually terrified about doing this. Jay's been kind of filling me in on what could happen. We're going to come back tomorrow night and do that. The video might go up maybe like a week or so after this one. What? Holy crap, bro, look at that. That was not doing that. Dude, it was right when I started mentioning that about your ritual. Oh, oh man. What the hell, bro? Mm -hmm. by itself, dude. Okay. All right, my heart is racing. If you're not subscribed to my daily vlog channel, you're really, really missing out. Sometimes I give you sneak peeks on some of these places that I do visit before the video drops here on Omar Gosh TV. I gotta go, but before you leave, give me a kiss. Peace.